Let's move on to fiscal responsibility. Um, it's a priority for you. If reelected, how will you ensure Bishop maintains a balanced budget while preserving essential services? Are there any specific areas where you see opportunities for cost saving without negatively impacting residents or raising taxes? You know, um, the citizens of Bishop um, raised taxes on themselves mm -hmm. um, in back in 2019, right before I ran. Mm -hmm. um, the the sales tax went up. And so- mm -hmm. And they did um, that by a vote. They did that by a vote. Mm -hmm. That's the only way it can happen. Mm -hmm. So it went on the ballot and uh -huh. and they voted for it. And um, and so that's really helped our bottom line. That's great. Um, as you all know, you know, Bishop is the center of all sort of sales in Indio County with the exception <laughs> yes. of Death Valley. And uh -huh. and so, you know, even the tourists as they come through and buy things that all that mm -hmm. sales tax go, comes into our coffers, which is really mm -hmm. lovely. Mm -hmm. um, we, What's really interesting to me about the fiscal landscape is that some of the things that are everyday things are perfectly, we, we, can, we can spend our money on them and they work great. Mm -hmm. And then there are the big ticket items that, that are just seem so out of proportion to mm -hmm. what we have in our coffers. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we did um, two or three years ago was that we instructed all of the staff to, um, through the city manager, we instructed all the staff to start a capital improvement fund oh. that, that we wanted to see in the budget every year mm -hmm. that people are putting money aside for capital improvements. And the, or emergent, could that be used for emergency situations Absolutely. as well? Okay. Absolutely. Okay. And so, because up until that point, there hadn't been any money set aside for that. That mm -hmm. it was just like, oh shoot, here we are and we need to get this done and... Well, and you know, helping young families and helping people as you have, even if you have a little bit of money back, you know, for a car repair or Absolutely. if, you know, something happens with mm -hmm. your job, just a little bit of money can really save you from a lot of problems. Right. And, yeah. and when we're talking about these big ticket items like sure. sewers and, oh, and sure. water pipes and mm -hmm. fire engines, you know, yeah, the, yeah. the, the ones in the millions of the do dollars, mm -hmm. we need to set that money aside so that it's continuing to grow yes. and, and growing money on its own and that every year they put money into this capital um, fund. And that's part of your balanced budget today. Right. And, right? and, and mm -hmm. it is a balanced budget. I mean, there, yeah, there that's are something to be very proud of. Yeah. You know, again, Ethan is just fabulous and uh -huh. all of our department heads really work hard mm -hmm. um, to not reduce services for mm -hmm. people and not raise prices for people. Uh 